What's good, man? It looks like Fredo Bang and a Dayton, Ohio promoter end up getting into it over a back end, man. Uh, the two have had an exchange going on since last night. Now, Fredo Bang was allegedly supposed to perform, ended up canceling and not going to the show over his back end money. Now, according to Fredo Bang, the promoter claims that he got jacked for the remainder of the back end, but he did pay Fredo Bang $20,000 to show up. Now, Fredo Bang went to his Instagram story to let his fans know that he would not be showing up for the show due to the promoter not having the money, but he did also say that he almost wanted to do the show anyway for the promoter. Now, the promoter took issue with some of the things that Fredo Bang had to say, and he made a live stream of his own saying that he gave this man $20,000 as well as he said that he never liked Fredo Bang's music. But check out the exchange between the two. I'm going to play both videos. Uh, Fredo Bang's initial response to the man not having his paper, as well as his response after the promoter went live. Check it out. Dayton, Ohio, I apologize if y'all came to my show tonight, but the promoter said he got robbed, so he can't pay me. You know, so, you know, I'm sorry. Blessings. No, this is the first time a promoter ever told me he got robbed. I, I didn't really want to still do the show for him. Was he more crazy? Now nah, he mad at me. You talking about slapping me? You should just slap me and robbed you. You ain't never had $30,000. I'm sorry I can't. I want to smack Fred O'Bain. I never liked your music anyway. Time about. I'm sorry, Dayton, Ohio. This is the first time. Yeah, Bruce, for all that, you could have gave it to one partner, man. Little people get you out their money like that, bro. Now, it looks like the promoter was real tight about the situation. I'm trying to figure out if the promoter is mad because Fredo Bang didn't show up for his back end or. Was he upset about the actual story that he posted? To me, it seems like the promoter wanted Fredo Bang to still show up, even though he didn't have the back end money, which Fredo Bang could have showed up and possibly got his money off of the door. But at the end of the day, that's not guaranteed money, and that's not how you do business. So just standing on business at the end of the day, Fredo Bang did the right thing from a business standpoint uh, by sticking to the script. Hey, listen, if you ain't got the back door, I'm not hitting the stage. And that's really how these things go. I'm not sure if they had a contract. I'm pretty sure if he sent him $20,000, they should have had some type of contract showing the agreement. And in that agreement, I'm pretty sure it stated that if the back end money was not given to Fredo Bang prior to him going on stage, that he would not perform. So at the end of the day, the promoter can't be mad at Fredo Bang for not performing at all. Now, I don't know if he asked him would he still perform or not. That's something that probably took place between the two. It wasn't, you know, disclosed to the public. I'm pretty sure the promoter did try to talk Fredo Bang into, you know, actually coming through and performing, performing, especially when you got money involved in booking the venue, as well as you paid a front end twenty thousand dollar fee just to book him. Also, you got people who have bought tickets. To come to a show. So it's going to be a messed up situation for the promoter for sure. Fredo Bang is going to be good though. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm a mighty the ruler. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell. So you get notified each and every time I upload new content.